Good morning and happy Tuesday. Thanks for waking up with us here on KSNT News. It's always my pleasure to have our KSNT doctor on call, Dr. Borchers, here in the studio. What is going around right now? As we head toward fall and winter, we expect an uptick in croup. Now, croup is a viral upper respiratory tract infection. We spoke a few weeks ago about viral infections that don't have fancy proper names, but croup does. It's a para influenza virus, um, primarily a problem in small kids, maybe six months to age four, primarily two and three year olds. It's characterized by a, a very significant cough um, and strider. Now, wheezing is kind of the squeaks and squeals when someone exhales, strider is more of a high pitched noise kind of uh, in the throat when someone inhales. And the cough is described as a barking seal. Oh, wow. um, now this infection generally will last three to five days. Sometimes there's congestion, sometimes there's a low grade fever. Um, it's not generally dangerous, um, sometimes needs a little bit of supportive care. Okay, and so again, it's called croup. This is different than whooping cough, though, right? It is different than whooping cough. Whooping cough is pertussis. It's a bacterial infection. You need antibiotics to treat that. The cough is caused by the pertussis toxin, and okay. that can linger and linger and linger, and actually young children um, are immunized against that. Croup, not nearly as significant, not nearly as problematic okay. for most kids. And this is treated how? So, um, you know, if there's, um, you know, low grade fever, some Tylenol, fluids, and rest, of course. Now, in um, some kids, especially the smaller kids with smaller airways where the breathing may be, you know, more problematic, they may require some steroids um, to help reduce that uh, inflammation and swelling in the airways and help them breathe a little more easily. Um, may require epinephrine that would be likely administered in the emergency room. Oh, okay. And of course, uh, it's a virus, but when do you know whether or not to go in to see the doctor? Yeah, great question. Yeah. So, m most of the time, supportive care is going to take care of it. And like I said, it should run its course in three, four, five days. If after five days things are getting worse, not better, might be um, a good idea to call your, your provider. If there's difficulty breathing, so your child is struggling to breathe, if your child is breathing rapidly, if there are signs of reduced oxygenation, you know, blue lips, blue mouth, blue fingertips, yeah, you definitely need to have your child uh, right. looked at. It's not usually as much of a problem in bigger kids. They okay. have bigger airways. Yes. It's still easier to move that air in and out. It's the little ones who can sometimes uh, get into trouble. Well, important to know and something many people I did not know about croup until this morning when you came in. So something to keep an eye on, especially as fall and winter start moving in. Thank you, Dr. Borchers, for being with us this morning.